If you're looking for Sokolov, he's not here anymore. <laughs> Put that thing away. You'll spoil my drink. So, you're the intruder everyone's talking about. Typical capitalist dog. No manners. And who are you? You mean you've never heard of me? And you call yourself an agent? Very well, then. I am Alexander Leonovich Granin. A man of some importance, if I do say so myself. I am the foremost weapon scientist in the Soviet Union. And the head of the glorious Granin Design Bureau. This is the Order of Lenin. It is an honor of the greatest magnitude, given along with the title of Hero of Socialism to only the finest workers. It was awarded to me in recognition of my brilliant contributions to society. Since the Great Patriotic War, I have created countless weapons in the service of our great communist society. It was thanks to me that we were able to stamp out the Nazi scum. It was I who created the basic design for the mobile ballistic missile system you know and fear as SS-1C. Ah. You're crocked, aren't you? I'm merely drowning my sorrow. Because of him, I've got nothing to do but sit here and drink this crap. Him? Sokolov. It's him you're looking for, isn't it? Because of him, I have been stripped of my authority. My research has come to nothing. Look. It is a revolutionary mobile nuclear missile system, a bipedal tank. A bipedal tank? Yes, a walking tank, a robot. Are you familiar with the theory of the missing link between apes and humans? Well, this technology will be the missing link between infantry and artillery. A kind of metal gear, if you will. And this magnificent metal gear will mark a revolutionary step forward in weapons development. Metal gear? <laughs> but I won't be used so easily, no. No crying myself to sleep. For you see, I'm going to send these documents to my friend in the United States. What? These bastards will live to regret this. And when they themselves become the targets of my creation, they will know my true greatness. Yes, Sokolov's pathetic shag hard pales in comparison to my work. What are you going to do with a rocket engine on a tank? About Sokolov. A tank does not need a rocket. It needs something else. Look at these. Nice shoes. No. Legs. Legs that allow it to go anywhere. Just as when humans learn to walk upright. That is the real revolution in weaponry. Don't you agree? But, the fool's in charge, Joe Sokolov. And where is Sokolov? My project has been terminated. The philosopher's legacy has been handed over to him. What the hell are you talking about? The philosopher's legacy. Haven't you heard of the philosophers? The Colonel has inherited their immense legacy. Volgin's father was in charge of the Philosopher's money laundering activities. In the confusion of the war, 
We somehow ended up with their treasure. And Volgin inherited that treasure illegally. We never need to worry about the military budget. The development costs at our facility are all paid out of the Colonel's deep pockets. The weapons born here will be the genes for creating an entirely new form of warfare. The funding for my research came out of that legacy. Came out of it. Now, my money, my men, all have been diverted to the Shagohal project. Tomorrow, they will be conducting the final test. While Sokolov is making the final preparations in the weapons factory at Volgin's main base, the great fortress of Grozny Grad, here I am playing host to an enemy spy and drinking myself into a stupor. That's where they moved Sokolov? Yes. And the Shagohod is there too? Of course. Hey! You're not thinking of going to Grozny Grad. Are you mad? It's an impenetrable fortress. I'm sure it is. You'll be killed. I'll take my chances. Wait. What? Listen to me, you fool. I want to help you. Help me? To thank you for your compliment. What compliment? My shoes. Tatiana gave them to me. I wanted to thank you for complimenting me on them. I'll tell you how to get into the fortress. In return, I ask only that you get that idiot out of there and destroy the Shagohad. There is an underground tunnel that runs around the perimeter of the fortress. You should be able to use it to sneak into the base. Head for the mountains. The entrance to the tunnel is located there. Take this. You passed through a warehouse on your way here, didn't you? Yeah. There should have been a locked door inside of it. Do you remember it? Uh... This key... will open that door. Beyond that door lies the vast jungle. You can climb up into the mountains from the far end of the jungle. Go back to the warehouse. Use the key to open the locked door and head for the mountains. Got it? Why are you helping me? Unlike Sokolov, the thought of defecting has never once crossed my mind. I love my country. I love this land. I cannot even imagine living anywhere else. I wish to remain a hero of the great motherland. I cannot bear the thought of being hounded into a corner and left to waste away. It is already dawn. You must hurry. I will remain here and nurse my troubles for a little longer. To capitalism! Okay, we're back, so let's go ahead and get back into this. Equip our handkerchief. And take this guy out. <laughs> we bumped into him and then knocked him out, so almost got caught there. But we didn't, so that's cool. Okay, we got another guy right here. How are we going to get by him? I'm going to try the whole going this way. Okay, there we go. Alright, he didn't get up, so we should be good. 
equip our motion detector. Okay, we got this guy heading back towards us. I don't know how he's awake again, but he is, so we've got to kind of watch out for that. All we really got to do is get by this guy again, and he's heading the other way. And we might as well hide him in the damn locker again. We put you in there one time already, now we're going to have to do it again. Shame on you. Should have just stayed in there. Okay, so we need to go back towards the exit. And we also, we should be good now. Uh, these are just guards here and we can walk by guards just like that. I don't really care about what's in there or anything like that. So, now there's probably going to be all those guards are awake again from outside. So, we probably don't want to go out the front door. So, we're actually going to find another way out and see where that takes us. And there are actually two different ways that we can get out. One of them is obviously that uh, that vent that we were in that one time, if you remember correctly. And the other one is, we're not going to use the vent way. We're going to use another way, which will actually take us above kind of where we were in the beginning. And I'll show you guys what I mean when we go this way. And it's, it's hilarious how I actually remember all of this stuff, just like I was playing it yesterday. So again, another scientist there. I'm not really worried about getting any of the little things that are inside. One way, of course, is if we enter this one right here, we can go out the vent and go outside. But we're not going to do that. We're actually going to head upstairs. Takes us up here. The bar, let's see, we'll go left first. No enemies around. Uh oh, so we got a food supply store here. This should take us right above, yeah. Which looks like there's just a book here, not too much. Yeah, make sure you don't run whenever you're uh, going past guards and stuff like that. Let's go nice and slow, no reason to mess up or anything. Let's see what we got hiding in here. Another suppressor. That'll do us some good. This guard's coming this way, but he's not really worried about us, so that's good. Okay. I think there are some things in here, but you have to destroy them. To open them. <laughs> oh, I got a uniform. Ooh, there's a little spider there. Let's take this guy out. Okay, so now we got some more stuff. And we can keep going on. There's some lockers here. I don't know what's in them. Probably nothing of use, but we'll check one of them out. I uh, see, just bullets. We don't really need that. So now we're going to exit. As you can see, this takes us right above where we were before when before we entered this whole building. And we also get another uniform for it. Sweet. And jump down here. Pick up some more of that stuff. Now, obviously we're still in our scientist uniform, so I think it's time to uh, equip ourselves with uh, some camouflage. In this area, it looks like leaf would be the best. And we'll go with woodland. Okay, so here we are. Two enemies right here, as I can see. Let's get our MK-22 out. We'll do this slow. Heaven knows that there's uh, not too much gameplay in this whole entire game, so <laughs> might as well go slow and enjoy the parts I can actually commentate on. Okay, so we're going to wait till I think this guy should head towards this way.
I mean, there's no reason to take him out now because the guy over there could very well see it. You don't want to kill them when they're too close to each other because that wouldn't be good. As you can see, it's also daytime. Well, it's uh, morning or whatever. So we're just waiting patiently. There you go. Come this way, buddy. Okay, there you go. And this this guy is obviously looking in this direction, so it wouldn't be a good idea to shoot either of them right now. I think once he gets about right in here, this guy should be maybe over in the other direction, and we should be good. Yep, he's turned away now. And this guy's coming over here. And now's the perfect time. Okay, so that went off pretty good. Sometimes patience works. I could have easily just shot him earlier too, but I wanted to wait till I figured what the right time was. So now we're just waiting for this guy. He'll do his little turnaround move and then we'll shoot him in the back. I love the ambient noises because we're in the jungle and stuff. It's really cool. So we should be good. I don't like this D-pad when I'm trying to move slowly. It feels really weird. Fire support request one four three point six one. Fire support request. What is that? Speak. Let go of me. Come on, get up. There you go. And I got you in there. All right, sweet. Knock out two birds with one stone. Okay, now if you remember correctly, there was a ammunition spot over here so we're actually going to take that ammunition spot out too and it creates more gameplay so it's not a bad thing we'll take this guy out really easily a nice headshot okay that should be it we'll move him There. And equip our TNT. If we have any left. Yeah, we got 16 left. Jeez. Okay. Uh, we'll do two just in case. Should be good. Let's back away. And boom. There we go. Oh, there's a keratin guy. Keratin. I don't know exactly what you call them. So you learn new things all the time too, huh? There's that door that we could go out. But we really don't want to exit out that way because it would take a lot longer to get all the way over to the other side. And I'm not sure if there's an exit on the other side, so we're just going to go and exit out this way. Since I think it's easier.
Okay, so here we are. I'm not sure what enemies are around us here. Let's stand up. I know we got a dog. So, okay, it's the same amount of enemies. We might even try to handkerchief this guy, just for fun. I'm not sure how close he gets to us over here. Okay, he stopped. And he is out. That is so cool. Can't believe that actually worked like that. I've never done that before. I don't even remember ever having a handkerchief to knock people out with. Okay. Now there's just those two left. Oh, do we need to take them out? I'm not quite too sure if we really need to, but eh, it's kind of fun. We're at least not going to move until uh, they're looking the other direction. Okay. So we're not really too worried about them. Snake is still there. And before we let this guy get in closer to us, let's equip our knife and take him out. Okay, so I think we can pretty much sneak around here without alerting these guys. Before we do that though, let's put our thermals on. Just to make sure that there's no traps. Okay. I don't see any snakes over here too, so we should be good. Okay, where's this dog? Right there. Back up just a little bit. Okay, we're 90% cover, so we can take this guy out. Uh, before I do that, though, I want to check something out with my weapons here. I did pick up an XM. Can't equip. Okay. Can I equip something? Uh, I don't need this torch. Is this a tranquilizer or not? I know I'm asking this is a stupid question. It's probably not. Firing mode button. It does have a suppressor, but it's not a... Okay, so there's no reason to really even think about using it. He's just a little too far away from my tastes. This dog is getting closer. I don't know if we can shoot through that fence or not. But he's going right in our way. There you go. Sorry, buddy. It's only because I respect you. And we took him out. There we go. Alright, so... That's going to do it for this part of our Metal Gear Solid 3 Operation Snake Eater walkthrough. Hope you guys are enjoying so far. Next up, we're going to be fighting the fear. All right. Peace out, bitches.